I'm Aton Shadow with Awesome. We have three plays for you across this big, juicy Sunday NFL slate on Yahoo. But before that, how about clicking those links below? We'll give you $10 to play with. And if you're new to Yahoo, click on that link below. When you sign up upon your first paid contest entry, we're going to give you one free month of Awesome Plus Platinum. Our first play, let's start with a quarterback on this Yahoo slate and go with a guy that not many people are racing to roster, and that's Ryan Tannehill. I know there's a major concern right now about how well New England's defense has been playing and also the fact that Ryan Tannehill is running out of guys to throw the football to and really hand off the ball as well. The Titans are a touchdown underdog in this game and so many people are going to stay away from Tannehill. This is a great opportunity. You see that mid-range cost there for Tannehill as well on Yahoo, that low $20 range. Great opportunity to counter a heavier rostered quarterback. If that is the Brady's, if that is somebody above him, this is a great opportunity where you can sneak in, save some money, and still get a good game out of Tannehill. He's not going to stop throwing the football just because there's no Derrick Henry, just because he's down a key wide receiver. In fact, if you believe that the Patriots are going to be up and the Patriots are going to handle some things, then Tannehill's an even better play because the Titans will be down. I'll say this, the last four games that the Patriots have played against the AFC, that's just the AFC, not the East, not the South, just the conference have gone over. So expect some points here. Don't expect the Patriots to just hold the Titans to three points in some 13-3 game. Ryan Tannehill, clearly out of desperation at this point for the Titans, is going to throw the football, and I want to be behind that when he blows up on the slate. All right, our second play, we're going to move to a wide receiver, and I think a lot of people are going to stay away from rostering Elijah Moore for two reasons. One, back to Zach Wilson right now, so everybody on the Jets offense holding their breath. The other element of it, though, is the fact that Elijah Moore had such a huge game the previous week. It's going to be hard for him to back that up. I don't believe that. In fact, the quarterback situation doesn't really impact me because there isn't that much of a gap between all three, if it's White, Wilson, or Flacco. The reality is that they're going up against a defense that you can throw against. They're going up against Houston, who has a ridiculously easy DVOA that you could attack. And the reality is it doesn't really matter the quarterback so much as Elijah Moore being able to get behind defenses and really take advantage of some shaky coverage. So Moore, I know everybody's waiting for this Wilson-Corey Davis combination to explode. Well, you already have somebody right there in Elijah Moore who has put himself on the map on the scene. And if anybody is worth their weight, and I know that's saying a lot for the Jets organization, on offense, they're going to find a way to get Elijah Moore involved. And by the way, he's going to have a ton of of opportunities to get behind this Houston secondary. So our second play for Yahoo wide receiver is going to be Elijah Moore picking up from where he left off last week and really no concern whatsoever about the quarterback swap. All right, our third play, we're going to go to the running back uh, position here and pick up my guy Miles Sanders in Philadelphia. No Jordan Howard right now against the New York Giants. Here's the reality of it. The Giants can't beat the Eagles. They've won one out of their last nine against Philadelphia. The Eagles are smoking right now. One of the hottest teams in the NFL, along with the Niners surging in the NFC. So I love to go to Miles Sanders here for two reasons. One, the identity of the Philadelphia Eagles offense has shifted to now being super run heavy. And two, he's their best back. I know he struggled earlier in the year, but that's when they were throwing the football. Now without Jordan Howard and this newfound offensive identity of keeping the ball on the ground, Miles Sanders is a must. At $17, you are saving money exponentially at that position. And I think a lot of people may be scared or nervous to roster anybody in that Eagles backfield because they don't know who's going to get the ball consistently. Well, I'll tell you, against the Giants, expect a gigantic game for Miles Sanders. Don't worry about those fumbles. That was just coming back after missing a bunch of games. Love Sanders at the running back position, especially at that cost point of $17. All right, let's run it back for you. Ryan Tannehill is going to be our quarterback. I know a lot of people are concerned about rostering Tannehill against that big, bad New England defense. Miles Sanders is our running back, and we're going to go with Elijah. Elijah Moore 
as our wide receiver. Those three on Yahoo for you. But before you jump in, anything on Yahoo, click that link below this video. And when you sign up upon your first paid contest entry, we're going to give you one free month of Awesome Plus Platinum. All right, I'm Aton Shander for Awesome Have a great night.